All right, Joe, thanks. The statistics may shock you. An estimated 50 million people fall victim to trafficking and exploitation worldwide. And of that, 25% are children. And it's happening right here in Connecticut. News 8's Eva Zamara shares how one New Haven-based organization is working to combat it. It's happening in every county in Connecticut. Child trafficking and exploitation. It is one of those issues that uh, is both easy to overlook because it is a hidden crime and I think it's really, you know, hard to look at. Love 146 is a New Haven based organization dedicated to ending child trafficking. Aaron Williamson, Chief Programs and Strategy Officer, says they've worked with nearly 1,000 young people these last 10 years. Traffickers spend a long time grooming and recruiting these kids, right? And so by the time they're exploiting these kids, they're not that stranger they met on the internet or they're not that random guy down the street. In some cases, exploiters have been family members, peers, romantic partners, community leaders, and educators. They're not only working to combat this, but also provide support to survivors. This generous funding will have a major impact on the expansion of our program. On Friday, it was announced they're receiving an $800,000 federal grant, which will go towards their transitional services program. Through this program, they help people between the ages of 16 and 25 who have experienced or who are at risk of human trafficking, reach education and employment goals. They also connect survivors with housing resources and shatter barriers to basic needs. One of the things that this funding will help us do is really make sure that when youth are referred to us, we're not only able to meet their immediate needs re related to the victimization, but then we're also able to wrap ourselves around them and follow them and help make sure that they're able to successfully transition into adulthood. This funding is critical to their work. A lot of folks are in denial about it. They don't see it right in front of them. So they think it is a thing of the past. The hope is to help them live a life independently and free of exploitation. They can't do this alone. For a closer look at the work Love 146 does every single day, we have that for you right on our News 8 website and app. In New Haven, Eva Zamaris, News 8.